This is Miguel from Element Lifestyle, and this is my 2004 Honda Element. If you guys want to see the tour of this, I'm going to leave the link in the description and in the comments. So this video is about those very long cross-country trips that I usually take with my Element. I've done a few of these, and I want to show you what safety gear I bring when I'm doing a cross-country trip, especially right now that on Maine uh, is coming soon, the Elements on the Dragon. I'm gonna be on the road for around 30, 35 days. So I'll show you what I what I got. So usually this is where I storage my emergency stuff. I built this platform here, used to storage the spare tire, but now because I got a full spare tire over there, now I get tons of space right here. So I just remove this out of the way. And then I think I'm gonna see this here so I can maybe align everything here so you guys can see what I what I have. I got two foldable chairs when I'm camping. This is one of my toolbox. I got two toolbox in total. Got an alternator. I know it's heavy, it's bulky, but I have it there for safety. Mine is never been changed. So I got this propane uh, hose for my propane heater. And this is my bigger toolbox. This is well, it gives me peace of mind because I got branches, sockets. I got this one. If somebody locks their key in, I can open the car with this special tool. And I use a clothes hanger and this pump. So if somebody gets locked in in one of the meetups, it happens before a lot, I'm going to be able to open it. In the future, I'm going to add kind of an storage on the roof rack so I can have this in the outside. But right now it's living here. I got an extra serpentine bell. I got two bells, one full bell and another one without the AC compressor. So if the AC compressor breaks, then I don't have to fix the AC compressor. I just install the smaller bell and that way I can get out of the trouble small, like temporarily until I fix it up. So duct tape, I was handy to have. I got a coil if I get a misfire some spark plugs, I got a BTEC solenoid too somewhere over there, a bunch of sockets, wrenches, some glove, an extra pin for my hitch if I lose it for any reason, some Allen keys, I do have another bag with more tools, so these two bags I'm gonna be able to replace an alternator and starter, brakes, whatever is easier to do on the road whatever that it can happen on the road too when you're doing these cross-country trips so i will say tools and parts are very important if you are mechanical inclined or even if you are not sometimes shops you are in the middle of nowhere and they cannot find parts and then you lose two or three days in the small towns waiting for parts so why not it's always a good idea to know your car what you had previously done in your car you never done the bell then I got an extra value. Misfires can happen anytime. BTEC solenoids, those famous 2647 codes that a lot of element owners have to deal with. I got one, so I'm going to be able to fix it up. This thing is amazing. I can store tons of stuff. I got this set of branches. I don't have it all complete. I just have the ones that I know that I'm going to use in my element. I know my car really well, so I try to minimize like weight and tools if I don't have to. This is something that I just added in my safety gear. I have a video about this and I'm really loving it. It's from Auxero. And this one is a portable charger and also is a tire inflator and it has flashing lights if I'm stuck on the road. Also a good idea to have a good spare tire. So I got this spare tire. If my tire gets punctured or whatever, it breaks on the road. And then I got more stuff right here still. Because my car is lifted, I need like a bigger floor jack. This is the OEM one, but I do like to still bring it because I can add two floor jacks just for safety reasons. So I'm bringing the OEM one, but also I got this one right here that luckily I just have to use it once 
and it's never been used in my element. It's been to save other people's rig. Like last time we were camping in Joshua Tree, one of the element guys broke an axle and this one helped. He had a three inch lift kit and this one was enough with a piece of wood to lift it up. And you guys can see a little bit of dust from Joshua Tree. And this one works fine for my, for my element, which is lifted too. So I got that one over here and I got more stuff here. This is like a magician hat. I just keep removing more stuff. This is a Vitex solenoid, brand new in the box with a pair of connectors because a lot of people have the problem with the connectors. So I have bought chassis in case. I already used two of these. I'm sorry, I used three of these. One for my own element and two to save other element owners that likely they were camping near, my, near where I was camping. And I went, drove to them and I fixed their VTEC problem. So this one I will say is the, it's a must when you own an element and you're traveling uh, VTEC solenoid. Uh, I do have more storage here, uh, but that's all I have for right now. I will say I can maybe add another little tool bag over there, but so far this is what you guys see here. So tools, bars, a good floor jug, a jumper, cable, is a mass, a spare tire, uh, an extra like Rotopax fuel container, like if you run out of fuel, I never run out of fuel, but I did help a motorcycle when I was driving once. Some water, if you get a stuck in the heat and then you need water, then always handy to have. Usually I do a little bit of off-roading, but when I do off-roading, I don't try to go by myself. I go with people who has even more experience than me off-roading and I don't need to bring like those running boards. I usually just go with groups with who they already have this gear, but that's something that I'm considering to add in the future, some kind of like kinetic rope so I can pull out my element because I already lived that situation a few times when I was doing long trips with other element owners. But like I say, I don't have it, but I am planning to carry some a kinetic rope and maybe one of those running boards so I can get out of those situations. But like you guys see, everything fits perfectly where the spare tire used to go. So if you guys want to see anything else like in more details or you guys have any other questions, please make sure that you comment, like and subscribe. If you guys comment more ideas, I can make a longer video and explain you more detail about the gear, the parts that I have. Also, I got over there, that molly panel, I got a first aid kit, which is always good to have is part of safety. I have a fire extinguisher. I'm thinking to add another one because I think that that one is too small. But you know, that's what I got right now. And then right here I have a carbon monoxide detector. When I'm sleeping inside here, I always put this in the side. It's very important to have. I, I mean, I seen in, in the news people dying from like having their car on all night to get warm up and then the exhaust can kill you. So this one is handy to have. I do have two. One is in the other side of my element. And another thing, of course, I think is very important to make sure that you got some kind of towing service. I got the AAA one, which I think it covers two or 300 miles if I break down. I think that one is also a must. A good insurance, you know, like for the windshields, if when you're traveling, you're going to go through a few windshields. It happens to me. It's just, I think, give you peace of mind to have all this. And the number one though, tip that I will give you guys is you're taking a long trip. Make sure that your car is in proper running condition. Make sure that you know your car like you know yourself. Because it's taking you to places. It's taking you in long run trips. Anything can happen. Make sure that your tune-up is done, your oils are clean and fresh, your suspension. I think investing in these things, it will give you a peace of mind and also the percentage for your car to break down is going to be lower. It's at 240,000 miles. I still trust it. I still will take other 
few long trips on this, but I think having the car in good proper condition, then it will minimize that percentage for your car to break down. Have a plan, you know, like have some saving, like if something happened, then you were gonna be able to afford the breakdown if you have to take it somewhere. Yes, I am a mechanic, but if I'm stuck somewhere that I cannot do anything, I'm just gonna call somebody to fix it for me to get out of the situation. And I have to be ready for it. I have to have a plan. So that's, that's what I recommend you guys. And I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to do more videos about my cross country trip. I'm going to do another video about my kitchen setup is which is under here i'm gonna go through all my kitchen stuff before my cross-country trip to north carolina for elements on the dragon i'm gonna be 30 to 35 days on the road so i'm pretty excited for it if you guys go in there please make sure to look for me to say hi i will be happy to say hi to you guys and talk about elements because i love elements i love traveling and i love like hanging out with people talking about different like experiences like camping stories so yeah and guys thank you for watching and see you next on the element video bye bye